Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you which Udemy course I took in July 2020 to learn Flutter. And you can see that I took the course in July 20 and now I am creating my own tutorials on my own YouTube channel, right? So I'm not going to waste more time in this video because I'm not teaching anything. I'm just giving you a reference and study material. So I'll not take your much time and I'll directly go on that course. So on Udemy, you can just search Flutter and it is a highly rated course and it's one of the course that comes on the top and here it is. So this is the course. It is by Acquired Mind by Maximilian and it's a wonderful course and let's check out its uh, course content. And the other best course, if you talk about this Angela UE course, this is also really good, but I have heard the uh, feedback that it's kind of little slow. Uh, than this and I already had some experience in Android Java. So I took this course because I do not want uh, a course that is a little bit slow for me. So I took this course, but if you are very new to app development field and you are new to coding also, then you can use this Angela UE course. You can uh, get this course. This is also 100 on 100. This is also 100 on 100. So it's totally up to you, but I'll go on this one because I took this course and Yes, so you can see you purchased this course on July 28, 2020. So I took this course and I almost completed it, but uh, some part is left. That's why I did not get my certificate, but I'm going to get it soon. Yeah, so let's see the course content. So if you will see the introduction, so this introduction is really good, right? Uh, even if you are com if you even if you are comfortable with Flutter a little bit, you have studied from documentation or you have watched some YouTube tutorials. Just give one day to this thing to this introduction. It's just one hour, 57 minutes. Give one day to this because it is really going to be helpful to get introduced with the teachers to the lecturers who are there in this uh, uh, complete course. And they are also going to share some good resources like Discord community and online support and all that, right? So don't uh, skip this part. Some people skip the introduction part, right? And this also covers how you can set up Flutter in Mac OS and Windows, right? So this is there in the introduction. And if I just go on Flutter basic, so this is the really beautiful part of this course is that from the second module itself, they have started building projects. So this is a quiz app because if you're not building projects, you are just reading the theory, 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 and you are not uh, seeing the real life use or the industry use of whatever you're studying, it becomes really boring. But this course is not like that. It is having quiz app product or project even in the second module. So you can see that what's the module introduction, how you can create a new project, what are the Dart basics. So even if you are familiar, not familiar with programming languages and Dart is your first language, it's totally fine because they have taught the Dart basics in this uh, module, right? So it, uh, yeah, it is of four hours, 53 minutes. So that's five hours something and you can cover. I'm also going to give you the timeline how you can cover this course. So I think that within three days, uh, this should be completed. So it, Finally, it depends on your speed and how much you are understanding in uh, in these videos. But I think three uh, three complete days are more than enough to understand it and to make your own quiz app, right? So it also covers public private access specifiers, stateful stateless widgets, which are very basic and everyone should know introducing maps. So which is something if you know Python, dictionaries and maps are equal. Final and constant, what's the difference? and how you can, yeah. So in, you know that in Flutter, everything is widgets. So that's also covered in this part. Else if for loop, everything is covered in this module. So even if you are new to programming, this module can cover your programming basics. In the next module, running apps on different devices. So even, uh, so if you don't know how to set up an emulator, how to set up Dart Dev tools, what are the significance of Dart Dev tools, you can cover in this module. So it's of 38 minutes. So that's, this you can cover in a day, right? So first introduction, one day, Flutter basic three days, then running apps on different devices one day. So three, four, five, five days, right? So yes, let's go to the next thing. Yes. So this is the part for, this is a module which is completely devoted to UI. You are going to work with styling. You are going to work with widgets, how you can, what is text style? Uh, what is container styling? How you can make the container round? What is the difference between sized box and containers? Everything will be covered in this, how you can make your text input field. So text input field is a widget where people enter their text or numbers. Right. So how you can make it beautiful? Because even if you will just import or uh, just uh, write text field in Flutter, that's an ugly text field you get. You need to make it beautiful. So there you get input decoration, right? How you can make that uh, text field decorated. So everything will be covered in this module. It's totally UI, right? So this module is totally UI. What is bottom sheet? Bottom sheet we use a lot of places at a lot of places. 
how you can use dark themes, white themes, how you can change themes dynamically. Everything will be covered in this thing. List tiles, grid tiles, date pickers, and transactions, deleting transactions and icon buttons for which project they are building. Okay, so they have, yeah, personal expenses app, yeah. So how you can delete the transaction, how you can add a transaction. And I think in this module, they are working with local databases or they will be storing the data in variables, right? And next module is covering adaptive user interfaces and apps, responsive, sorry. Responsive means if you are working with, uh, uh, let's say a small screen mobile, let's say iPhone 10 or iPhone 9, iPhone 8, right? iPhone 9 is not there. iPhone uh, 8 and 7 and uh, 10, their size is little bit small, right? But if you go with Android phones or iPhone 13, their size is really big. So it should be automatically responsive to these sizes, right? And if you, the, the best example is that, as you know that Flutter is for Flutter web also. So if you have created a mobile application, it should be responsive in, responsive in Flutter web also. It should take the shape of the desktop screen. So this is all comes, uh, this all comes under responsiveness, right? And adaptiveness. So this will be covered in this. And for this, one or 25 minutes, two days, because it's new concept. So I'm not giving one day, two days. And for this thing, five or three minutes, you can take one week, right? So this was one day, three days, one day, one week, and two days right? Then we have flutter internals. So here you can work with all uh, dart concepts. So key, so I'm not going to uh, like waste more time in this. So let's go to the next thing. Navigation and multiple screens. Navigation means how you can uh, go from one screen to another screen. What are routing? What is routing? What are routes? Everything will be covered in this. Next thing is state management. So what is state management? Just a general idea. Let's say you have uh, just let's say you want to make a counter app. So whenever you're going to click on that button, the counter value should increase one, two, three, four. This is state management, right? You are changing the state of the text. So that text is a widget. So whenever you're clicking on this button, you, you are going to update that screen, update that screen. So this is state management. So you can build a shop app. This is for meals app one week, five days, right? So this is for one week. This is for five days. Then working with user input and forms. So this is two hours, four minutes. And after this, everything will be done. Most of the UI, that means you can consider that 60 to 70% of the UI will be covered uh, for you to make a real life app and an app that you can build on, uh, that you can publish on Play Store and App Store. After this, user inputs and forms, right? So two hours, four minutes, I think two days are enough, right? Because forms and input fields are really easy. And the professor in this lecture, uh, in this uh, course has really explained it very well. Even today I'm using uh, his code. Like, so whenever you code, you don't need to code it every time, right? You can just copy paste that code. So till now also, whenever I need to create a form and user input field, I used his code, right? So this is good. HTTP request. So now here the backend comes. How, what is an API? So even if you have worked with Express.js, Node.js, REST APIs, this will be for you because now you need to work with APIs. So in APIs, you know that you get a, you create a request, you get a response and you need to handle that response. You get a JSON data. So how you can manage your JSON data, how you can uh, handle your JSON data. Everything will be covered in this using HTTP package. And yes, so pull to refresh. So you can see that uh, whenever you need to uh, refresh your app, you just pull it. So this will be covered in this. So this is good. Nine more sections are there. So I'm going to leave the other sections on you, how you can, how you want to do it on yourself. I've given you a very good idea about this course. This is a really good course and you, you will get a certificate. You can put it on LinkedIn. You can post it on LinkedIn. You can put it on your resume. It's totally up to you. I guarantee that after doing those, after doing this course, you can make a chat application, an e-commerce application, or you can say grocery application, which is similar to e-commerce. And yeah, so I think that major apps, which are there on uh, Play Store and App Store, you can make them, but after some. Uh, practice, you can make any kind of app. This course is more than enough, right? So after watching this course, you can refer some YouTube tutorials, but I think that one course is really necessary to learn something uh, proficiently, right? Uh, from basic to advanced, one Udemy paid course is really necessary, right? So this was it. I hope that you like this video. If you want any other roadmap resources, guidance, you can put that in the comment section and you can follow me on Instagram for more updates. Till next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.